What do you do, guys? It's your boy, Crispy T. I hope you guys are well and being kept well and everything else is going good. Um, I have another prophecy, and this is just uh, regarding the situation about the retail malls here in South Africa. Can't believe we're in episode 16. So, with that said, I'm going to, ch- I'm going to change things up a little bit. Um, before we get into the word and the message that God has given me, uh, I would just like, uh, please, 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 just to appeal to your hearts to um, support the ministries. There's the PayPal link if you are overseas and if you prefer, even if you are from South Africa, where I am, you can then just hit me up and contact me regarding the, the um, sorry, an account or personal account. Um, there's also an option called Easy Pay, I think, or oh, sorry, Fast Pay over here. But um, I'll send all those details. I just haven't figured that one out first. But um, please, um, I'm just asking for an appeal, just to appeal to your hearts. If you can find it in your hearts, and if this words and and obviously these messages touch you, please support the Crispy T ministry and just everything that I'm currently doing. I'm not registered as a um, non-profit organization. I'm just running solo at the moment, like a solo project just like um i'm an artist and all of that so just see it as that for now until the time when god decides that this is time to um incorporate and try to trying to do things and then from there i'll communicate the changes so with that said i would appreciate any help um and any form of support no matter how little no matter how big just would be nice and um i have no real plans to be quite honest with you regarding the request but this is just uh, something that I have to get in and and um, just ask you, especially that um, we we are moving into these times where we've seen South Africa as a high unemployment rate, and unfortunately, you know, we we have to depend on God, and not unfortunately, what I'm saying, fortunately, sorry to say, I'm, I'm I didn't mean it like that, but I mean what I'm saying is that. It's not, things are just not the same, and things are not going to be the way I'm used to operating and the way things are going to um, have always been, is that um, also just be, bear in mind, never to be discouraged, that you're going to be moving, no matter what your situation is, before we, pref- just to preface this message, no matter what your situation is, you always have God, and God will always find a way. Even though most people have just become very, you know, clutching to their rands and their precious money at this particular time especially when things have gone gone tighter just remember that god always has some something in store god always has some sort of surprises for you so with that said uh, yeah this is just a personal appeal for me that um it's been quite a journey for me and i've been depending on people's generosity to be quite honest with you and i'm just going to tell you um even though yes um god has promised me quite a bit and i'm you know, he just uh, he hasn't, um, well, released it for me as yet. Well, he has in principle. It's just that I'm sort of going through certain things where I just have to wait. So with this said, thank you so much. And let me get into it. So this happened in the morning of the 24th, which is Heritage Day. And, um, and this is like the third of um, three dreams where I had the same um, sort of situation where I saw the malls here in South Africa. So I'm just going to condense everything into one, especially on the video. If you want the full description as to what happened and um, the details, I'll I'll leave the link. And I think I'm also going to change things that way. Instead of going through what the dreams um, were saying, I'll just try to condense the dreams um, in, in a short message as far as the YouTube videos are concerned. And from there, if you want the full uh, interpretations and everything else, I'll just link you to the article. I think it makes things easier that way. It makes things flow for the video that way. So what happened in the dreams really was, um, for one, I saw three malls, okay? And the two dreams were earlier last year, in the middle of last year, sorry, in 2020. And then the, the third of the two on this theme about the malls was that, the yes sorry the the malls in itself was um the third one was on the 24th of um september which is heritage day in south africa 
what happened there was that the malls were being vacated and meaning that um, there were less occupancy occupancy and there were three particular malls the one being Alberton City which was the or well, one the first mall um, here in Alberton and um, when I was still a little kid I think I was about three four years old I was always coming to Alberton City and yeah it's grown since it was um, pretty much smaller in size when I was here and then it grew uh, quite significantly and the and what it had, was happening in Alberton City in particular was that um, it was just getting less and less occupancy there were more less and less stores happening and yeah um, even to the point where you couldn't find the bank anymore and there was a particular there was a standard bank branch now i i figured out that um from last year at some point standard bank actually in reality had vacated the prom premises and went to another mall in alberton so the alberton branch that was at the original mall of alberton city went into a new mall called new red ruth uh, mall or sorry new market sorry new market mall um here in alberton so that is already sort of um, come into fruition, but it's what I'm saying is that the trend and the downsizing trend is going to happen. And then the other mall, which also featured in the dream last year, and um, this was Eastgate Shopping Center there in Bedford View. So Eastgate in itself, what is happening is that, which is also likened to the prophecy um, regarding the episode 14, which was um, the Exodus from China. This had in this particular mall i was with a friend of mine who's also asian descent but um strange enough and i was with a female friend of mine and we went into this mall at eastgate now when we got there we saw a strange sight that there were just food vendors over there where it was like um these micro entrepreneurs with gas stoves and and those two plate gas stoves if you are familiar with that and um, they were just making their meals there and there was a whole bunch of them so eastgate had been also experiencing that um, there were not many people or many stores that used to be there now there were these vendors and they were running a food stall in the eastgate shopping center and particularly when you move towards closer towards where the woolworths was and was in that wing so you know things had changed quite a bit and it was like okay um this is quite a thing and it was people from it wasn't just chinese um immigrants it was um the other side of the other asias like um sorry the other asian countries like philippines thais those sort of things and um they were also um occupying spaces in the mall so there was a quite a variety of food and and it became the new food court Okay, moving on to the dream on the 24th, the most recent one, and the third one, right? Whereas this mall, what happened is that initially I was trying to find some restaurant, and I was with uh, my sister, first of all, and we were trying to find a restaurant in the north side of town, which is Johannesburg North. Now, over there, um, funny enough, I wasn't getting restaurants um at in the when I was putting on my GPS, they were located within houses in the north. So it was like those restaurants were now occupying spaces. Um, there was one particular Chinese restaurant that um, occupied a house, and I ended up settling for there um, because I was running out of time and I was in my lunch hour, and my sister was also in her lunch hour. And f fair enough, um, I got there. And what I saw in, in, with the restaurant uh, as soon as I got there was that it became quite a interesting development where there was a, it looked like an almost like a museum. It was like so beautiful, like it was done up so nicely. And um, there were these upgrades, you know, like a restaurant, even though it's in a house, it just looked magnificent. So, yeah, so, so beautiful that I kind of figured, ah, oh, it doesn't look like I actually want to order any food here because it's so marvelous. So I ended up, um, noticing my time and i realized i had another half hour to my lunch hours which means that i actually had more time than i thought so i decided okay let me head to the mall instead and somewhere and i ended up in a mall that, which was looked like santon city and i was with a another chick friend who was um well a lady friend of mine for, from from the past so more so and we went into um the santon mall now when i noticed there there were a lot of vendors it was like a flea market buzzing atmosphere there and it was like well this is so different there were merchants all over from 
Arabic countries, you know, European countries, and they were just having stalls after stalls after stalls. And this is so anyone that knows Santon City and it comes from South Africa will tell you that this is the complete antithesis of what Santon City is because Santon City is more like upmarket. And if you like upmarket, you know, fancy stores and all of that, and that was not the case anymore, but it still looked good. It's just that it was just very different. And then we went further on and there, there was an open area, which means that. It was not closed off uh, where the you could see a you know you could see the sun and basically there was an open roof there and over there we saw the there was this new food court where it, um, where there were food stalls not just food stalls but food trucks um, sitting there and there was patches of grass over um, well there was a whole uh, grass um, beer garden over there and you know and then I ended up getting over there and I I ended up ordering a beer. Now, I'm not going to name the beer, particular beer, because here's the thing, is that this beer became a tobacco brand because I ordered a beer. Then all of a sudden I'm being corrected that, oh, no, um, the name has changed. It's rebranded and it has wonder at the end of the name, you know, and which is quite interesting. But anyway, I'll get back into that. And I ordered the beer and instead of getting the beer, it became a a hookah shisha smoke, you know, hubbly bubbly if you do that whole smoke thing. And I'm not a smoker, but anyway, I just had some. I've tried it before, but I was in my early 20s and the varsity stuff. So I smoked some and I started coughing. And I'm like, and I just explained that, oh, I'm not a smoker. So anyway, and anyway, I was smoking and inhaling from a, it was actually put into a, you know, like an Aladdin lamp, you know, a genie lamp and all that. So and this wonder, um, this beer, which is rebrained with wonder at the end, was now was now packaged as a tobacco and a tobacco flavor. So yeah, and then that's when the dream ended, and um, and now I'm just gonna get in, into the interpretation. Now, what's very telling over here and what's going on really is the fact that we're now seeing and we're now transitioning to a point where we, the malls are. Um, are uh, actually going out of, um, not necessarily going out of fashion, but the traditional model of them are just not going to be sustaining. Whereas um, they can no longer have uh, stores paying rent um, and something that is going to be accelerated ever since this um, COVID situation, we're going to see less and less of that, I mean, more and more of that, I should say. And uh, I mean, less and less stores being occupied within malls and them looking for people to pay rent at the malls. Now, fair enough, um, that is something that we, we're going to start seeing and we're going to see micro entrepreneurs and vendors now taking over. And funny enough, let me tell you something and why I feel God has given me this message because I knew of a shopping center here in Lemon Tree, which is called Lemon Tree here in Alberton, which also had to transition itself from going to, from a, yeah, um, it went through a tough time in the early 2000s and I was still in varsity. And what had happened there was um, pick and pay. You used to host a pick and pay and, and a few other stores in there. And then um, it, it underwent some tough times and it, and it started opening up a big flea market. And it, let me tell you, it saved the center because pick and pay moved back in and the center's still buzzing right now. Um, so... It's it's quite a sight to one. I mean, yeah, a sight to wonder in itself, and which uh, brings me to the further interpretation of um, that beer. And that beer now is saying that because the culture is going to be changing, that um, you know this upmarket lifestyle and this appeal to the upmarket is not going to be the same anymore. It's going to be like everyone. Not to say that every not everyone will. There are not going to be any rich people and all that. No, no, no. It's just that because um the market is now going to change and people are going to be looking for value-based um, commodities and prices and, and things of the sort. So it'll have to now start changing and an upmarket place like Santon City is going to have to change and cater towards um, people who are more commoners and people who are looking for bargains, etc. And that's what a flea market in itself and a 
those hustle bustle street markets and so for Santon to go the street market route is, is quite a thing and but then also that there was this beer garden which looked like a festival I should I should mention as well and there were those food trucks and everything is that it's also saying that these malls are also going to have to innovate in terms of providing the right uh, sort of entertainment and you know, and um, I think you're going to start seeing things like that, interesting developments along the way. Hence the wonder, also standing for the magic of God. Um, and I'm looking at Romans 120, that all these mysteries, because God is the true genie and he's the true, not to say that um, he does every, grants you every wish. No, no, no. It's like as long as it's according to his perfect will for your life. You know what I mean? So he's the one who blesses you with resources and things. So I, I'm thinking that Things are going to change. Um, that's for certain. And um, also the fact that this lady that I said, you know, initially the dream that I had on the 24th started with my sister. Then it went to transition to this lady that I knew. She works in the alcoholic beverages industry. And um, so she would know a thing or two. So her being over there and her presence saying, and especially that she works in the sales side of it, would say that this is something that's going to be quite feasible for the specific beer company. I'm not going to name the beer i know who it is of course it's given to me but i don't want to put any speculation i will confirm it when the time comes but just remember that there's that wonder that's going to be at the end of the name and especially that is going to now enter into this whole um sphere of tobacco products and hubbly bubblies and this whole festival party lifestyle so um that's what i'm seeing and certain developments and it will probably be quite a name as far as um, you know and especially when you consider that beers and alcoholic beverages are big in my industry which is the events industry and everything else and the music side of things that uh, it will be quite prominent so yeah um, I don't know if I've left out anything else but um, as far as Eastgate is concerned yes um, I suppose that's also going to be a quite a thing with them with flea markets are going to start helping to pay the rent for these malls and to upkeep the rent, especially that we're getting store foreclosures. Like I also spoke about in the episode eight regarding the mass mart and mass job losses and unemployment, and we're entering into that sphere of unemployment. So right now we need to hold on to God more than ever. And um, that's all I can say uh, on this matter. But um, anyway, Everything, if you want the link and the scriptures and everything that I've um, just discussed, hit it up on the description box and you'll find it all there. Please don't forget to support our ministries and God bless you till next time and the next message. I'm out. Cheers. Bye-bye.